September 7, 2022. Daily Breath. Passage Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 15 through verse 49. Key verse 23. Title, The Covenant of the Lord Your God. You saw no form of any kind the day the Lord spoke to you at Horeb out of the fire. Therefore watch yourselves very carefully, so that you do not become corrupt and make for yourselves an idol, an image of any shape, whether formed like a man or a woman, or like any animal on earth, or any bird that flies in the air, or like any creature that moves along the ground, or any fish in the waters below. And when you look up to the sky and see the sun, the moon and the stars, all the heavenly array, do not be enticed into bowing down to them and worshipping things the Lord your God has apportioned to all the nations under heaven. But as for you, the Lord took you and brought you out of the iron smelting furnace out of Egypt to be the people of his inheritance, as you now are. The Lord was angry with me because of you, and he solemnly swore that I would not cross the Jordan and enter the good land the Lord your God has given you as your inheritance. I will die in this land. I will not cross the Jordan, but you are about to cross over and take possession of that good land. Be careful not to forget the covenant of the Lord your God that he made with you. Do not make for yourselves an idol in the form of anything the Lord your God has forbidden. For the Lord your God is a consuming fire, a jealous God. After you have had children and grandchildren and have lived in the land a long time, if you then become corrupt and make any kind of idol, doing evil in the eyes of the Lord your God and arousing his anger, I call the heavens and the earth as witness against you this day that you will quickly perish from the land that you are crossing the Jordan to possess. You will not live there long, but will certainly be destroyed. The Lord will scatter you among the peoples, and only a few of you will survive among the nations to which the Lord will drive you. There you will worship man-made gods of wood and stone, which cannot see or hear or eat or smell. But if from there you seek the Lord your God, you will find him, if you seek him with all your heart and with all your soul. When you are in distress and all these things have happened to you, then in later days you will return to the Lord your God and obey him. For the Lord your God is a merciful God. He will not abandon or destroy you or forget the covenant with your ancestors, which he confirmed to them by oath. Ask now about the former days, long before your time, from the day God created human beings on the earth. Ask from one end of the heavens to the other. Has anything so great as this ever happened? Or has anything like it ever been heard of? Has any other people heard the voice of God speaking out of fire as you have and lived? Has any God ever tried to take for himself one nation out of another nation, by testings, by signs and wonders, by war, by a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, or by great and awesome deeds, like all the things the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your very eyes? You were shown these things so that you might know that the Lord is God. Besides him, there is no other. From heaven, he made you hear his voice to discipline you. On earth, he showed you his great fire, and you heard his words from out of the fire. Because he loved your ancestors and chose their descendants after them, he brought you out of Egypt by his presence and his great strength. To drive out before you nations greater and stronger than you, and to bring you into their land to give it to you for your inheritance, as it is today. Acknowledge and take it to heart this day that the Lord is God in heaven above and on the earth below. There is no other. Keep his decrees and commands which I am giving you today so that it may go well with you and your children after you and that you may live long in the land the Lord your God gives you for all time. Then Moses set aside three cities east of the Jordan to which anyone who had killed a person could flee if they had unintentionally killed a neighbor without malice aforethought. They could flee into one of these cities and save their life. The cities were these, Bezer in the wilderness plateau for the Reubenites, Ramoth and Gilead for the Gadites, and Golan in Bashan for the Manasites. This is the law Moses set before the Israelites. These are the stipulations, decrees, and laws Moses gave them when they came out of Egypt, and were in the valley near Beth Peor, east of the Jordan, in the land of Sion, king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon and was defeated by Moses and the Israelites as they came out of Egypt. They took possession of his land in the land of Og, king of Bashan, the two Amorite kings east of the Jordan. This land extended from Arior on the rim of the Arnon Gorge to Mount Sarion, that is, Hermon. 
and included the Arabah east of the Jordan as far as the Dead Sea below the slopes of Pisgah. Daily Bread Message The first warning concerns idolatry. They should not worship idols because they saw and experienced the living God. Unlike idolatrous nations, God redeemed Israel and made his covenant with Israel. God is the Lord our God. We are in a relationship with a God who out of love gets angry and jealous when we cheat on him. Maintaining this love relationship is the key to overcoming idolatry. What should the Israelites do if they forget and fall into sin? God says, Seek the Lord your God, and you will find him. They did not deserve this, but God was merciful and faithful. God has proved this mercy and faithfulness to us through the cross of Jesus. Let us seek him with all our heart and soul. Sometimes the best defense is a good defense. To avoid idolatry, they must remember what God has specifically done, what they saw, experienced, and so on. God did these things so that they may know who God is. By reminding ourselves of God's grace in our lives, we maintain a love relationship with Him. Also, by keeping His decrees and commands, daily life presents opportunities to press into this love relationship with our covenant God. Prayer Father, thank you for revealing yourself to me through a new covenant with Jesus. Help me to remember your grace and keep your covenant. One word, the Lord is God, there is no other.